But for now, you know the steps and software is required to set up a fully functional AI agent trading bot. Choose your crypto, buy, sell, bullish, bearish. Let's find out. Let's create an AI trading crypto bot that's going to allow us to trade anything you see to the left here. All that good old crypto. Anything, Corbin? Anything. We're going to be able to trade Bitcoin, Ethereum, and don't worry, we're going to get some meme coins in there like Dogecoin. If that all sounds good, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. Welcome back, y'all. In today's video, we're going to be setting up an AI crypto trading bot that's going to be able to trade on our behalf, whether we are asleep, in the ocean, in the mountains, wherever it may be. Today's video is sponsored by Zapier as we've teamed up and we've decided we're going to hit head on a bunch of cool topics that you actually want to see. And this one right here, based off my other stock trading video, which I'll leave in the description down below, was highly requested. The amount of comments I got saying, Corbett, I need to see how to do this with Bitcoin, Ethereum. And trust me, there was a lot of meme coins in there as well. So let's go and figure out how to do this. Best part is it's gonna require no coding, just prompting. And the first major software we'll need is Zapier Agents, which is everything behind me. So I'm gonna leave the first link in the description, giving you the ability to do this for free. Click it, get going. The next software we're gonna to need to use is Alpaca. The reason we're gonna use this is this is what's gonna give our AI agent the ability to even trade on real markets. Therefore, go ahead and create your Alpaca free account as well. I'll leave it in the description down below. I'm also planning on doing a video on options, so make sure to subscribe here as that will come out pretty soon. As you can see from the stock video, we went ahead, did the analysis with the AI trading bot and bought some CVS. And not to brag, but we're already up 22%. Oh yeah, that's $117 a profit, no red. Only green. Let's go and begin. Start from scratch. In our previous video, we created a stock trading bot based off how politicians are investing in the market. In this video, we're going to create a more lasered in version of this bot, specifically giving it a edge in the sense of whether it's bullish or bearish on the way it trades. So let's go and begin here with run behavior, create behavior, as we need to create a behavior that's going to allow our trading bot here to actually sell and buy crypto. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do with Bitcoin. But in theory, you have access to a ton of other cryptocurrencies. I'll go ahead and leave a help article in the description that shows everything Alpaca has access to, and that's going to be your limitations of what kind of coins you can trade. Let's do it, though. Now, when creating trading bots, there is a whole plethora of different ways of approaching the logic of what constitutes a buy and a sell. In reality, typically, you're going to want to give the trading bot a bullish or bearish kind of edge for its underlying opinion. Therefore, the behavior we're going to give this trading bot is going to be very bullish. This is your discretion though. If you feel like cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, you're bearish on it for the next six months, then you would just take my same logic and reverse it. But assuming we're gonna be bullish here, let's do bullish crypto. The on-demand is we're gonna set a schedule by Zapier. This allows it so that me and you don't have to keep logging in and telling the trading bot what to do. No, no, just, just do something, okay? I just want you to do something. Now, the one thing about crypto that's different than stocks is that it's traded 24-7, 365 around the clock. Therefore, we can do every day here. And then the discretion of time of day is completely up to you. So I want to just do 8 a.m. This is going to run the behavior of all the logic you're about to proceed here at 8 a.m. every day. Make sure to show more options here and say trigger on weekends because we can trade on weekends. Save. Therefore, let's set up the very first step here of what our crypto bot should do when approaching a trade. Check this website semicolon parentheses. I'm going to personally give the coin market cap as the thing it's going to scrape data for when it comes to pricing. In reality, this could be any website. You could quite literally put the link to someone's X profile here if you want to follow their trades or alternatively do what we did in the stock video where we found a very specific type of trade, which was a politician trade. For now though, we'll go with the general idea of just what's the price, what's the percent, Etc. Now, when creating these trading bots, what I like to do is every step, let's just gut check it and make sure it's actually working. So, coming back over to Coin Market Cap, we should see a price around ninety six thousand four hundred eighteen dollars outputted. Therefore, save instructions and test. Let's see if we can do it. One very, very powerful thing about our AI agents with Zapier here is its ability to scrape data from websites. This kind of functionality is extremely valuable and really easy to access through Zapier. Okay, so it's going to the Coin Market Cap site. Let's see if we see something around ninety six thousand. 418. And there we go. 96,366. Because as you know, with crypto, it's very volatile. If you didn't know that, then I guess you just learned something new today. We are not trading bonds and CDs right now. We are trading crypto. <laughs> For us to create a trading bot that has context of its previous trades, we're going to use a tool within Zapier called storage. So we're going to say insert action and we'll do storage here, storage by Zapier. And what we're going to choose is set value. We're going to go ahead and click this and let's go ahead and change some stuff here. First major thing we need to change is we need to set a fixed text for our key here. What do I mean? 
think of this as this is where we're going to be making multiple entries of the Bitcoin price that we're going to use in later on logic. Another way of thinking of this is just like a very easy Google sheet like, hey, today's price was XYZ. Tomorrow's price is XYZ. We're going to be able to cross reference this. So I'm just call it Bitcoin price. Scrolling down here, we're going to want the agent to generate the value for this, right? Because obviously the price changes depending on the day. So we're going to hit save here. Therefore, this leads to the next step here, which means that if we have an actively live trading bot here, we need to make sure that we're always selling when we're in the positive. You know, the old saying, buy low, sell high, this situation. So we need to check our most recent purchases. Same situation here, insert action data table or storage. And what we're going to do here is we're actually going to get a value now. I'm going to click this and this is going to be a different key. We're going to set this key to purchase Bitcoin. This is the amount we've purchased in the past at the very specific price point. Let AI do that field and we'll move this step four. Now in step four, this is where we're going to have to add conditional logic. So I'm going to read it in text form and then I drew it out on a whiteboard so it makes a little bit more sense. But the idea is this. If the price you set in step two, the current active price is lower than the price we find in step three, which is our previous purchases, then we're gonna to go to step five. And step five is gonna be buying because we are in a bullish edge here. This is the way we're trading this bot. But if the price in step two is higher than the price you find in step three, therefore, let's say you bought at 85, but now the price is 90, we're gonna go ahead and skip to step six here, which will be a sell. And finally, we're just gonna add one little caveat here, assuming we're just starting this crypto bot, where if no price exists in our little price catalog here, then we are gonna go ahead and skip to step five and just default to a buy. Let me just walk through this logic on a whiteboard so this makes more sense. So we have our current active price. Let's just say right now, Bitcoin's trading for 90,000. We just got this data, it's fresh. This is gonna go to step three which is gonna check our price catalog of our previous purchase price. Assuming we bought at $95,000, we're gonna be at a deficit for 90,000. And because we're making this trading bot bullish, we're gonna to go to go to step five here, which will be buying more Bitcoin. Basically, we're doubling down because in theory, if you are in a bullish bias, you are assuming that you're going to see higher and higher prices. Now, what's the flip side of this? If the live data reads 90,000, we'll go to step three, check our previous purchase catalog. And if it's 85,000, which means we bought at 85K, therefore we're in a positive trade here. We're going to go to step six here, which will be a sell. Therefore, when it comes to schedule by Zapier or trigger here, you may want to opt for maybe a longer duration, like check every week rather than every day. But this is completely up to your discretion. Let's get going here. Let's give our bot the ability to even do these actions. So we're going to say set five here, which is a buy. Go ahead and purchase more Bitcoin using this action. And we're going to say insert action. This is where Alpaca comes into play. Alpaca. And we are going to buy an order, place order. It's going to click it and let's check it out. So our symbol is going to be very specific field, BTC. And then the side we're taking because we're bullish here is going to be set a specific field and it'll be buy. And then the quantity is obviously up to your discretion. So what's your budget? How much do you want to put in a trade? How much you want to take out of a trade, et cetera. So for now we'll put 0 0.1 Bitcoin. Everything else we can kind of leave as is and hit save. So this is going to buy Bitcoin in a trade. So once we actually buy the Bitcoin, we need to set this value in our purchase catalog. So we're going to go ahead and hit insert action. We're going to go to storage by Zapier again, and we're going to choose set value. Click it and not Bitcoin price. We're going to be setting our purchase Bitcoin, which is our key that we set earlier in step three. So I'm going to hit save here. And just to confirm, there we go. Purchase Bitcoin. These have to be the exact same dictation, letters, etc., for it to reference the same data source. So the logic that's incurring there is that anytime that we're in a deficit from our original purchase price, we're gonna just keep doubling down, double down, double down, double down. That's why this entire trading bot has a bullish bias. If you wanna see a more like analytical trading bot, I encourage you to check out the stock trading video that I have in the description, which bases its trade, not necessarily on bullish or bearish, but on sentiment in the market, analysis of articles, trades that are being made by government officials. Although if we're winning in the trade, we can go ahead and sell. So insert action. We're gonna do a packet again. Come down here, we're gonna say place order. Click it. We got Bitcoin here, nice. Instead of buy, it's gonna be sell. And I would suggest using the same increment so there's no issue there. So we'll do point one, save. So effectively, what we just did right here is we created conditional logic for our bot to follow to a T. And that's what makes AI agents super cool as in reality, to code this out, it would require a lot of Python. So Let's go ahead and try it out. Save instructions, retest result. So first thing he's gonna do is gonna grab the live active price of Bitcoin. And because of how our logic is set up here, this is gonna initiate a buy because nothing exists in the purchase catalog as of now. So determine the next step here. Perfect. So right now it's storing the value of the current price. And there we go. 
it is currently placing the order. It's gonna give me a confirmation. I'm gonna hit approve. And as of now, it would have executed. But one thing to note about a packet here is in order for us to make live trades, we can't actually use a paper trading account. Essentially, when trading with Zapier agents and our pocket API, you gotta do it for live money account. So just put in a couple of dollars in there just to play around with it. Although what you'll see here is pretty cool. Our logic got fleshed out pretty nice here in the sense of that it found the current price, it stored it in Zapier, it successfully cross-referenced and checked whether the price was good or not. And then obviously based off our logic here, it wanted to execute a buy order. But right now, Alpaca doesn't allow buy orders or sell orders or any type of orders in a paper trading account. So to truly flesh this out and try it out, we would need to open a live trading account put in some money and proceed. Now, when it comes to this logic right here, one thing to note is that this could be reversed, right? So if we're bearish, we could short Bitcoin, sell on it and do whatever you want. One, you should probably whiteboard it out on the way you want your trading bot to function and then translate that into text that you can input into a Zapier agent. But two, these branches can get very, very much more complex. In theory, we could add a threshold here where even if it is going to want to do a buy, we could add some type of blocker here that's like, We'll look up current news about Bitcoin and see why the price is down or see why the price is up before making your decision. This extra layer of insurance can basically help you out in situations where maybe you don't want to trade purely on price, but add a little bit extra layer of complexity to your AI agent. So for what I'm about to say, obviously, I'm not a financial advisor, so this is not investment advice. When setting up this bot, I'd probably opt for a longer duration rather than day to day. Unless you're dealing with a very volatile crypto, typically you're looking at a week here. So like every Monday run this kind of trade. But for now, you know the steps and software is required to set up a fully functional AI agent trading bot. Choose your crypto, buy, sell, bullish, bearish. Let's find out. If you felt like you learned something, make sure to leave a like. It's completely free. And I'll see you in the next video. AI crypto trading bot to random videos. That's my face. I'll see you in the next video.